one. Hi, Maruti. Uh, thank you for joining us today at Ijebo. I'm really happy to have this chance to talk to you and get to know your experience here in Japan and also how you like Japan and everything. Um, so if you could please start with your introductions, that would be great. Sure. Um, thank you very much for having me here. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Um, so, well, uh, my name is Maruti um, and I'm originally from India. Mm -hmm. um, currently, I'm working in um, soft. I mean, in a company called Mercury as mm -hmm. an engineering manager. Um, and I joined Mercury last year, but I'm in Japan for for a long time. Um, and I'm living here with my family. Um, and um, like apart from that, if I talk about briefly about my hobbies, mm -hmm. uh, well, I have kids, so I love to play with them, and um, yeah, I love to play cricket as well. So yeah, that's very brief about me. Great, thank you. Uh, so yeah, I saw that you've been here for almost like over a decade. Um, what was your first encounter with Japan and why did you decide to move here? Um, well, um, yeah, it's almost nine years for me. I came to Japan in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, uh, uh, after gradu until graduation, I have never ever thought that I will move to Japan, oh. um, but in my very first job mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in a software company in 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 in, in, in India, um, I kind of like uh, got motivation to move to Japan, uh, and there I started learning Japanese also. Okay. And when I moved to Japan, I mean, uh, my initial reaction was, um, I mean, I really amazed. In simple word, it's very organized. Um, yeah. things are very advanced here um yeah in even in their work people try to achieve the highest level of the perfection in their work um i am mostly amazed by the great customer service um mm. in every company or in every um i would say japanese people provides so overall i was having a really really great experience and like if i talk about other things like a train bus uh, cleanness uh, the honesty people have and the punctuality mm -hmm. uh, really awesome yeah so overall my impression was really good okay great that's great to hear so <clears throat> so i yeah before you moved here that's when you just started learning japanese and now that you've been here for like almost nine years have you developed your japanese language skills or yeah yeah well um so I, I have gone through many phases, I can say. So uh, as I said, I think I started learning Japanese in India. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I, I joined a company where I think uh, they taught uh, Japanese to me. Okay. And then I appeared um, JLPT exams there and passed um, initial levels there. Mm -hmm. uh, then I moved to Japan and uh, I was working for a traditional, initially I was working for a traditional Japanese company, uh, a very small scale company. Mm -hmm. uh, where I think no one was using uh, English, uh, that kind of like enforced me to uh, to utilize more Japanese. Yes. So uh, I feel I'm fortunate enough um, to have that environment uh, where I think I could uh, enforce myself to learn more Japanese. Mm. Um, but after that, I think I uh, I did um, uh, several. Um, I mean, self study. Also, I used to go uh, learn classes at. Um, city offices i mean some city office provide um, mm -hmm. the japanese classes some old people are teaching here so okay. uh, i used to go there um, and nowadays i think uh, my company also provides support to me so uh -huh. uh, i am having one on one japanese classes so i'm still improving my japanese yes oh wow i see and so in terms of working at medicari do you feel that uh, people need to have some kind of japanese background or is it possible to not have any and do it in English or, yeah? Not at all, I would say not at all. You don't need Japanese um, there. Um, Mercury is uh, kind of like a global company. Uh, we mm -hmm. have uh, people from more than um, 40, 45 nationalities. Wow. So it's pretty diverse environment. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the primary language we use is English okay. there. So honestly, there is no, strict need of Japanese um, there yeah I see so then it, I guess it's much easier for foreigners to 
to work there for sure. Indeed, indeed. It's, it's comparatively easier for them, yeah. Yeah, I see. Then can I know what you like about your current position at Mercari? Yeah, well, um, sure. I think, um, uh, as I shared, I think I'm kind of like working as engineering manager. So I have a team of like a very diverse team mm -hmm. uh, from people from different nationalities. Mm -hmm. So I like working with these um, uh, highly skilled uh, engineers. Yeah. Um, they always uh, tend to go for highest uh, productivity. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, um, this uh, I can say like um, apart from that, uh, the environment of the company is really good. Okay. Um, most of us are working remotely, but yeah, sometimes we do go office. Sometimes we go for parties also. Oh. So um, overall, I think I can say I think it's it's really nice environment, and I really enjoy working here. I yeah. see, and I feel like um, if I was a foreigner. I would have the idea that, you know, there's a strict working ways that Japan, Japan has. Uh, do you think that's something you had to face over the years or like, especially at Merikari, because there are so many people, there's no such, you know, Japanese forced environment. How do you feel about that? Well, uh, honestly, it depends where uh, you are working. I mean, it depends on like, it, it's similar in every country, I can say. Mm -hmm. and it depends company to company, which you are working for. Yeah. So if you are, um, if you are opting a company, uh, which has a good culture, mm -hmm. um, you can work anywhere, I can say. Yeah. But um, I mean, if, if you look Japan from outside of the world, uh, Japan is, Japan have some uh, kind of like a bad image of like excessive work hours, <laughs> uh people are <laughs> um i mean working uh, kind of like holistically here so mm -hmm. um i think those kind of thing uh, i can say is not applicable to all companies here mm -hmm. um i mean some companies really do have good uh, environment there and they are really promoting the good work life balance yeah so yeah i don't see those issues anymore nowadays yeah okay well that's good to hear and uh, do you find any like differences in the project project execution styles in Japan and when you were back in India? Well, um, honestly, I worked only a, some time in India in my initial career, and then I moved to Japan. But yeah. what I heard from my like friends there, um, there are like honestly there is a difference in in the project style. I can say, mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, the main thing is the methodology we use for um, project management. Let's say if someone is using the waterfall or someone is using like a scrum, uh, it's similar everywhere throughout the world. Yes. But the thing is how the execution get done. So people here in Japan are really, really committed to, um, to the process. Mm -hmm. They really uh, follow the process, uh, yeah. whatever it's defined. Uh, they're really committed to the, the schedule, the work um, they have. And um, on the other end, they really, really prefer to have communication, making consensus with the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So um, those are like key things I can say. Um, and and our, I mean, it, it's similar, but uh, I can say the degree of accuracy mm -hmm. is, is different. Uh, so in Japan, I think you, you find that uh, people are really trying to uh, achieve the perfection in the process they, they are uh, heading to yeah uh, okay I see and uh, okay uh, thank you for sharing and uh, <clears throat> so I would like to maybe move on to a bit outside of work sure. uh, questions and so maybe my first question would be like what so been here for nine years what aspects of Japanese culture do you like the most yeah, well, um, I honestly, I really like the culture um, here. Um, mm -hmm. I can say the culture of um, respect. So mm -hmm. people respect each other, uh, even in work, outside the work. Uh, people are really nice. Um, so um, I can tell you, like, uh, when I come to Japan very first time, um, mm -hmm. um, at that time, I think I didn't have a, a phone uh, that time uh, mm -hmm. because I came to here on a business visa. Um, mm -hmm. okay. And in 2014, I was talking about, so yeah. I was looking for the address and I asked some uh, one Japanese man people and he, uh, he bring me to there. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, it was, I think, very good impression of mine uh, at very initial stage. So a culture of respect mm -hmm. and um, 
the culture of like i can say ikigai um uh-huh. where i think people are preferring what they really want to do um uh, uh-huh. and that's why i think they really enjoy working so uh-huh. um these kind of things are uh, really impressed me um uh-huh. obviously there are some good things and bad things also but uh-huh. Uh, i prefer to see the positive side of uh, japan also yeah yeah then could you share like couple of things that you don't really like or like the you have a culture shock per se yeah well um since i i have been here for 9 years so i can say it's it's uh, uh, i have somehow accustomed to this environment yeah. um, but i can say people who who can see outside of japan um they they heard about japan that japan is less uh, socialized Yeah. Uh, people talk with each other uh, less um, mm-hmm. they don't, i mean obviously uh, there is a language issue also right mm-hmm. so uh, people have image that i think if they don't know japanese uh, they will have really hard time here mm-hmm. and also i think it uh, talk about the work excessive work hours but i think all these things are now changing um, okay. many companies are going for work life balance yes uh, language issues i can say i think many companies are uh, going for globalization mm. so they are preparing the in- english environment there and uh, people are getting more socialized because it become more diverse uh, in every company so these issues are are becoming irrelevant going forward yeah okay that's good that's great to hear um then so in your introduction you told me that you're here with your family and how do you, how is it to raise children here as a foreigner um i think um, i can say it's um comparatively easier okay. um for me at least uh, my wife is not working and uh, mm-hmm. so uh, my wife takes care of my kids um uh, mm-hmm. but um i think um government has a lot of support here uh, mm-hmm. to raising kids mm-hmm. um i mean let's say from from beginning um government provides support for their uh, medical expenses um mm. uh you don't need to pay a single penny uh, for even for the vaccination of your child okay uh, apart from that there are like uh, babysitting programs um there is like uh, kindergartens for uh, your babies yes. so uh, raising a child in in good environment respected environment um it's it's really good so okay. i can say i think i'm fortunate enough to have here yeah okay and in your free time how do you like to spend the uh, time with your children mm, i shared i think um it is hard for me to take uh, time in weekdays mm-hmm. but yeah obviously after work and even in weekdays i try to play with my kids at home mm-hmm. um try to talk with them and apart from that in weekends uh, i tend to uh, take them uh, to the nearest park uh, mm-hmm. to my home um and sometimes we go out uh, together on a road trip Oh. Um, so yeah that's how it's it's going for us okay that's very nice i see and uh could you name couple or one or two places that you've been uh outside of tokyo oh yes definitely i have been to okinawa uh oh. once and uh i think i really like that place uh, it's really beautiful the beaches um the culture of okinawa i can say oh. uh, and um uh the environment itself is really really nice mm-hmm. i have been there for almost like 3 4 days uh, but i really enjoyed my stay there okay um, apart from that i think i have been to um fushima also okay um and several other places i mean nearby tokyo mm-hmm. yeah i see and i i guess this is more of a personal question uh yeah. is it easy to find like to raise your children do you, do your kids go to like uh are they raised in 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 hindu like with japanese or just with your native language oh well um so for me i think i'm uh, since um i think japan is also heading to globalization so i thought i think i should also um uh give opportunity to my child to learn in global environment so they mm-hmm. are going to international school uh-huh the, the elder one uh the small one uh, smaller one is I, i have two kids by the way okay uh, small one is still two years so he's is oh, raising at uh, home right now mm-hmm. but the uh, elder one he's seven years now so he's going to enter the school yeah oh, i see and is it easy to find 
Well, I guess if you in in these international schools, is it easy to find or yeah, to find your own community if you wanted to find other, you know, Indian friends or families? Yeah, indeed. I think um, there are, I can say, several places in, in Tokyo mm -hmm. where I think uh, Indian communities, you can find more people in Indian communities here. Okay. Um, and also there are several groups uh, of Indian people. So they, 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 I think, celebrate festivals together. Mm -hmm. um, they celebrate some of the like um, holidays together. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a good community. So they yeah. are also connected not only with the Japanese culture, but also mm -hmm. Indian culture. Yes, Apart, I mean away from India also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see. That's that's great. Then I guess this is going to be my final questions. Uh, sure. Do you have any tips or advice for people who are thinking of working in Japan or who wants to work in Japan in the future? Mm -hmm. I see. It's a good question. Um, so um, in in my company, as I said, I think English. Um, do you don't require Japanese? But mm -hmm. I would say I think first. And uh, most important, I think you should learn Japanese. Mm. Uh, yeah, some people can argue that uh, it's it's not necessary to move to Japan. Mm -hmm. But um, in my experience, I can say that a uh, person who knows Japanese have more opportunity mm -hmm. uh, and have more upper hand, I can say, in, in their work. Yes. So I think they should learn Japanese. Okay. Second, um, they should follow, I can say, the trends in Japan, what kind of trend mm -hmm. um, it's, um, it's there in, in, let's say, if they are working in uh, information technology area, mm -hmm. then they can follow the trends and they can enhance their skills there, um, mm -hmm. which will make them an opportunity to, uh, to go to Japan. And mm -hmm. uh, finally, I think I would recommend them to connect uh, the recruiters like Ijebel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, even from uh, outside of the world yes. so uh, you guys can really help them uh, to uh, to make I mean to help them to come to Japan mm -hmm. so um, this is just some of the tips from my side yeah. okay great oh the, the following the trend is a great idea I never thought about it so <laughs> thank you for mentioning yeah yeah my pleasure well, thank you for joining us today at Ijebo. It was great to talk to you and get to know your experience here. And thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Thanks a lot.